We are going to learn all about AWS Educate and show you how you can get hands-on experience with AWS without using a credit card. So in your browser, I want you to go to aweseducate.com. And you're going to click on register now. And previously, you had to have an EDU email address, but AWS Educate, I believe several years ago, opened that up to anyone with a valid email address. Let's start creating this form now. We're going to start with our name. I'm definitely not going to tell anyone how old I am by showing you my birth year. If you want to receive news from AWS about the services that they provide, you can click the checks box, but that is not necessary. So I'm just going to click on create account. Now they have to verify your email address to make sure that you are a person and not a bot. And so I am going to now go into my email address. Sorry, my email inbox. I'm going to verify. So I have verified my email. Now you're going to notice here that you don't get access right away. I'm not familiar with what kind of verification is done behind the scenes. So at this point, you have expressed an interest to join AWS Educate, and you're just going to have to monitor your inbox. And I'll let you know how long this took for me. But at this point, just wait for that email to come in to say your account is active, and I will pick up the recording once that happens. And so I have received after five minutes an email saying that I have been approved. I'm showing that email on the screen now. And so the next step once you get this email is to click here to set a password, which I'm going to do right now. And so I suggest you use a strong password here. All right, I want to walk through here a little bit. You'll notice that up here in the top right, you've defaulted to courses and labs. There is a job section. It seems like it's mostly AWS jobs. If you're just beginning, most of those jobs require experience, but it is good that AWS gives you access to some job listings. But we're gonna focus on courses and labs. I'm gonna walk through this left side navigation. You'll notice here you can select any courses or any labs that will result in you being awarded a badge. And so they gamify this a little bit by letting you work towards badges. That's great for showing on social media that you have completed some of this coursework. And so you'll see in the results and so you can click on any of these to compete for badges. In terms of hands-on experience without a credit card, if you click on lab, these eight labs will all give you access to the AWS console. For instance, let's suppose you created that free account, you went through that video of mine, you're like, okay, great, but what's my first step? Well, if you wanted to learn how to use compute, and when AWS says compute, those are basically virtual servers using the EC2 service. So if you click on that, you're going to confirm the language. You can see there's quite a few languages supported. I'm here in the US, so I'm going to select English. I'm going to click on confirm. Hmm. Well, let's try that again. English, I'm going to confirm that choice. Okay, second time's the charm. 
And so here you're going to see that it introduces you to the course, the objectives, how it works. You can read through that then click on next at the bottom. You have an optional survey you can take, but for now I'm just going to skip that. And so getting started with compute shows up. So you can continue through this as you as you go through that, it's just going to give you some short introduction information, but I'm going to click on next. I'm going to skip through those slides and I'm just going to get to the meat of the lab. This is everything you need to do to get started. It tells you how to start, gives you information. I'm going to skip through this. You can read it at your own leisure, but I'm going to click on next down here. So to me, this screen is a little confusing because typically I think from left to right, there's certainly details. I'm going to skip that. You think then the next button AWS is what you would want to click on, but that is an entry into the console. It should say enter console, but you can't enter the console until you start the lab. By clicking start lab, this is going to provision your temporary temporary AWS account, which does not require a credit card. So I'm going to click on Start Lab. And this is going to take probably about five to seven minutes. So I'm going to pause the video now. As soon as I get the completion message, I will go ahead and resume the video. All right. So that completed successfully. So now I'm going to click on AWS, which is going to launch the console. And notice that it didn't ask you for an email address, say for your root ID or any IAM login information. If you look up here at the top right, this is using your lab account. So this is the only way I know of to actually get real access to the AWS console without a credit card. If you know of other methods to do so, please put the comments for this video. But this is the only way I know of without having to use a credit card or a prepaid card to access the console. This is great. And if I'm going to click on EC2 here, and you see this is the full legitimate AWS dashboard. It's not watered down in any way. So there are certain restrictions as you might expect. You're not going to be able to start up some high-end servers, do uh, crypto mining or anything like that. So you'll want to follow along with the lab instructions. It'll tell you how to provision an EC2 instance, a virtual server. And so it's going to be really helpful if you've never navigated around this this dashboard. Just take the notes, follow instructions one at a time, and you'll notice that it does a great job of walking you through all the different services, or at least the most common services. I know AWS Educate is going to be producing more labs, but there's at least eight to get you started. I think it's a great way to learn AWS. I want to finish going through AWS Educate. You can see it keeps track of everything you have in progress. I started the lab to show you that. Going down this left-hand side, you can filter by topic. So if you're into data analytics, if you want to learn more about machine learning, artificial intelligence, security. So this is a good way to filter by topics that interest you. It's not just for beginners. There's a lot of great foundational courses um, if I looked at advanced courses, you can see it goes through different roles in the training to be a support engineer or a data scientist or a cybersecurity specialist. You know, your mileage may vary. I wouldn't say the advanced courses are on par with some of the paid educational offerings, and that's to be expected. This is a free educational service that AWS puts out is definitely worth your investigation. Find out what you like, and if there's some courses that you don't, then that may be something that you want to pay for later on. But you can also filter here by duration. But as I had said, 
This doesn't require a credit card. It's free training. You get real access to the console. So I think it's very valuable. It's easy to sign up. So I encourage this strongly and thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you next time.